PLC Network here with an unboxing today coming from the company One by One. Uh, it is yet another familiar name since we've covered, of course, One by One many times uh, with some of their products in the past. Um, this time, what we have is a turntable, kind of cool. Uh, but what makes this turntable different is the fact that it has USB built right into it. So this isn't going to be something too fancy, so don't get too excited because it isn't exactly a reference line, audio file series, record table. You're not going to put some of your best vinyl on this thing and, and rock out to your old favorites and or melt away. Um, it, is, uh, it does retail for just over $100. And its purpose is to take some of those vinyls and record them to USB because, again, has, this has USB built right into it. And what you're able to do is you're able to take a thumb drive and stick it in this beast, put in a record, hit play, record it directly to the thumb drive, pop it out, and now you have MP3s of all your favorite records. That's the whole purpose of this. It's just going to be, in my opinion, a medi not a mediocre, I guess that would be kind of um, uh, not being fair since we haven't listened to it yet, uh, but an intermediate level uh, or beginner level record player that's going to give you average sound quality so you can at least get a good mp3 recording of some of those records. So let's see what's inside. So because I'm kind of excited, we're all kind of excited, we've actually been sitting on this thing for a couple days now as we've been going through other work and assignments and you know, it's, we've been very eager to pop this open and see what it looks like on the inside. And so that way we can actually start playing with it and the team can tell you later on what exactly they think about it. But for now, what's important is what is in the inside. We're going to take it out. Move this box down over here. Again, the company of this is one by one. It is the, the number one and the letter or the word by, B-Y, and the letter, or excuse me, word, one. Stop laughing at me. One by one. First one is a number. The second one is a word, not a letter, a word. So we're gonna pop off this styrofoam. I'm gonna throw it at you. Of course, you're gonna be very careful since it is a record player, no matter how expensive it is. You know, record players aren't exactly something you wanna throw around, which is why you don't wanna want, want, you don't want one of these <laughs> delivered to you via UPS because they most likely will use it as a kickball. But you didn't hear that from us. They might hold that against us and retaliate. All right, we got a little covering right here. Ooh, record player. Uh, let's get some of this protective plastic off. And there you have it. You have a record player. So again, this is one by one. This is their classic wooden turntable with dust cover, AKA plastic lid. Uh, you have little pieces of foam here to help protect the turntable. It is a three speed turntable. Your volume is right here. Your, uh, your arm and your head and everything. You have a little plastic piece that protects it right here. That has to come up before you're using it. So always make sure to check everything. Make sure there's no extra pieces of foam or anything hidden that's going to catch up to you and mess you up. You have some options right here on the side. You have standby on USB MP3. So recording uh, phono, Bluetooth, and uh, phono record, previous track, play pause, and next track. So that's these buttons right here. So you have a total of eight buttons. And then right here, you have a USB input. That is a USB type A input, uh, which is your average USB input. I'm gonna assume this actually comes off. Yep. So in case you don't wanna use the dust cover, put that off to the side. You can have just the record player. I, uh, in my opinion, I would say I keep the dust cover on uh, at all times. Uh, I personally am not uh, familiar with record players, so we're going to definitely have somebody else uh, lead the project on reviewing this bad boy. So to uh, make sure that we give them the most or the fairest judgment possible. Anyways, looking at the back, I'm going to guess this is speed maybe. 
On the back, we have uh, multiple uh, uh, inputs, just two, multiple, two. Uh, we have an auxiliary input. Actually, no, let me take that back. Not input. We have an input and an output, not multiple of anything. Uh, we have an auxiliary input in case you want to uh, feed any kind of uh, external audio source into it, like a cell phone or whatnot. Not seeing why you would want to do that. And unless maybe it allows you to mix this between this, but I, I doubt that. I think it's just this or this. Uh, so this is just kind of like maybe one by one thought. You know what? A record player isn't good enough. Recording the record to MP3 isn't good enough. Before we release this, we release this to the market. Let's throw something extra in there. What the heck? Let's throw an auxiliary input in there so people can plug in their cell phones. Do they need it? No. So why do we do it? Just because we can. I bet you the true story probably isn't exactly word for word or anywhere close to that, but you know, hey, it's an option. Uh, you have a DC input, so this is for your power, and that's it. So it's a really simple device. Again, it's uh, above $100. Uh, it's not too expensive. It plays your records, and um, it, it gets the job done, uh, hopefully. Uh, to know for sure, we are definitely going to share that information with you later on when our team actually goes over this, and we tear it apart and determine how well we like it. So again, one by one, that's the number one, the word by, the word one, one by one. You can check them out on Amazon, you can check them out on their website, and of course, probably in a couple days, hopefully, by then we'll have a full story available on our website at pocinc.net forward slash blog. And of course, a link to that full story or full review will be located in the description of this video right below so that you can click on it and see what we have to say. And in that review and full story, we will include links to the product itself so that way you know exactly where to find it. We'll include pricing information and of course, the most important piece of information, do we like it or do we hate it? So stay tuned, check out the website, pocinc.net forward slash blog. And we'll catch you next time. If you want to stay on top of all the latest and greatest and or at least the gadgets we cover, remember to subscribe right here. Subscription button. Click it. You're going to want to. There's lots of videos, interviews, previews, all sorts of stuff. Button. Click it.